Hi, ladies. Welcome to this training on attracting the best in men. I am very much excited to be here with you tonight. Thank you so much for joining. Um, give me one second. I'm so excited that you're here today. I'm going to share with you something really powerful because I know that there's a lot of confusion when it comes to love and attracting the very best for you. So today I decided to create this training to really support you in knowing all like the key core elements of embodying your feminine energy and how that leads you to powerfully attract the best type of love, the men that are ready to commit, uh, the men that are the right fit for you, who turn you on, who it's just, you know, exciting to be with for the long haul. So it's going to be a really exciting training. I am pumped to be with you here today. And what I'm going to recommend for you before we start is that you, you let yourself be present in this training. Why is that? Not only because I want you to get the best of it, something that you will figure, you know, you will find out from me today is that attracting love requires your presence. It requires you being in your body, letting yourself fully receive what is available for you. Many times when we attract love or when we are wanting to attract love, but we're not fully present, maybe we have all these different things distracting us or taking away our attention, it's a representation of how we're not letting ourselves receive. I've been talking about this a lot this weekend with clients, with um, people who are interested in my work, and I've, I've noticed this theme of women who kind of have like all these things going on at the same time, and they create this sort of reality where they can't just, you know, sit and allow themselves to receive um, because there's a fear. Deep down, there's a fear of opening up, of letting themselves have love, and all of that good stuff, all right? So I'm gonna help you today to really know the key core elements of your feminine energy that are really crucial and important for you to know to accelerate the process of your man showing up in your life, of you living the most blissful, romantic relationship that you could really like, you know, you could ever really want. Now, being present is key. Letting yourselves receive this content is key. What I'm gonna invite you to have is total awareness of everything that I'm sharing. Let yourself fully receive this. Let it marinate within you. Let yourself have any sort of ahas that are really powerful for you. If you can um, have a notebook and a pen with you and write down your ahas, that would also be really great it would help you really uh, let this information really sink in. So bring all of your awareness. I'm going to give you a layout of, um, and, you know, set the intention as well that you are going to let yourself receive all of this and that you're, you're going to really um, use the best out of this. Don't let this be a training where all you heard was like sort of information and you kind of got confused and you didn't take action. Um, I'm going to create the space for Q&A today. I'm just going to give you a layout right now. Basically, what we're going to do today, uh, this training of attract the, the, the best in men, uh, have the best in love now, is a training to really guide you, to give you clarity, to give you an opening, a clear path, so that you know the key core elements of your feminine energy and how to attract, you know, and how to use it to powerfully attract the type of love that you want, meaning the masculine, powerful man that you are desiring. Now, I'm going to guide you into those key elements today. In that process, um, I'm going to be sharing some testimonials as well of women in my programs who've really seen progress or manifested or have attracted uh, their man by really embodying this and really taking themselves on in this process. And at the same time, uh, I'm going to give you a clear path. Now, what, as I give you these clear tips, I'm also going to guide you through uh, a really a powerful heart release process so that you let yourself open up to even more love that you let yourself feel even more feminine magnetic attracting like more love to you is going to give you clarity and it's going to give you confidence so if you've been feeling confused if you've been feeling overwhelmed about your dating experience and and it's keeping you up at night and you're wondering like how the heck do I manifest 
this man when all I see are like jerks or men who are not the right fit or men who don't treat me right, it's all good. All of this is going to be clarified for you. I'm also going to open up this space for Q&A and I will also introduce you to the program that is um, actually hosting this event today, which is my signature program, Magnetic Self-Worth, where I really help you integrate a lot of what we will everything basically that we will cover today to a deeper level so that you can see results in a shortened space and you can apply this in your love life, you know, for the rest of your life. Um, so ladies, I invite you to stay until the very end uh, so that not only do you have the clarity, you have the steps, you experience a shift in energy where you're feeling more elevated, more open, and you start to see why this heart release process is important. For those of you who are interested in the, in, in the Magnetic self work program, I will also make an offer to you today that it's only available for those that stay here until the very end. And you will also receive a lot of bonuses for staying here tonight. Ladies, so who's excited? I know that I'm excited and to deliver this content. What I want to um, ask you as we start is to please write on the chat box here, um, like your name, you know, like I'm excited to connect with you and also tell me your biggest confusion in reg like what, what makes you confused about feminine energy and attracting the man that you want. All right. So with that being said, we will start. Okay. So let me just share my screen and uh, we will start. Mm -hmm. Give me one second, ladies. I'm excited to read all of your, your comments. The more you keep this interactive, ladies, and the more you share in the, in the comment section, the more you will receive from me inside of the heart release process uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you today. It's going to make it really relevant for you and the things that you need, okay? So I invite you to, to really share in the chat box and you know what makes you confused and what you're really looking forward to get inside of this training. The more you do this, the easier it will be for me to support you. All right, so this should be fixed right now. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Aisha. Um, perfect, so let's start sharing. All right. All right, ladies, let me know if you can see the screen. Can you see the screen of what I have right now? Please let me know in the comment section. All right, I'm just gonna also keep this here so I can read the comments. Perfect. All right. Hmm, that's a powerful question. Perfect, ladies. So attract the best in men, have the best in love now. Let's start with, you know, first I wanna introduce myself. I am Nicole Elisa. I'm a transformational love coach. The reason why I do not call myself a dating or relationship coach is because I believe that love transcends all of that, like it encompasses all of it. And in order for us to really be masters at relationship and at dating, I personally believe that we must be masters in the energy of love. So one of the things that you will see from my clients and from the testimonials that you will read are women who say, Nicole, you've taught me a new way how to love that has brought me results. And that's why I'm a transformational love coach. Let me, and in this, hopefully this makes sense. I've been doing, you know, first started as a motivational speaker. Then I moved into life coaching and now I'm a love coach and I've been a love coach for several years now. And my own life is a testament of what I've been able to achieve and in, in the reason of why I decided to just become a love coach. To tell you a little bit more about my story, I remember when I was growing up as a kid, you know, my parents were together, but they were, they were not happy. Okay. Like they lived together, but I never even saw my parents kiss. I had no idea what it meant you know, to feel love. I, I, I felt like, you know, I, I couldn't even hug my parents. Whenever I, whenever I would try to hug my parents, like my mom sort of like pushed me away. I just grew up with this feeling like I couldn't have love, right? But guess what? 
I grew up watching TV shows, etc., and I just could feel so much love by watching them. And I was like, you know, I really, I know that I want that. And one of the things that you will know about feminine energy is that we are ambassadors of the energy of love. We really stand strong in the energy of love, like we are an emanation of the energy of just being love for who we really are. It's in our heart. It's in our it's in our being to want love, to want to grow in love, to master love. Masculine energy is more around freedom and like a purpose. And one of the purposes of masculine energy could be to devote itself to love, right? But there is this slight difference. You know, men tend to devote themselves to a cause. It could be love. It could be freedom. It could be many different things. And coming together when we both own our polarity, the feminine and the masculine, we can create amazing things. So I always knew that there, there is, you know, outside of whatever I was seeing between my parents, I just knew that there was magic between the union of the feminine and of the masculine. There was magic in it. I just could feel it. Now I was just, you know, living my life until, uh, maybe around the age of 21 or something. Somebody said to me, Nicole, most people tend to just repeat what their parents have attracted like in love or recreated and i remember like feeling like it was just like a bucket of like cold water that was thrown at me in a moment i was like oh my goodness like i do not want that you know like two people who don't kiss who don't hug right um who who have a trouble saying i love you to their daughter now this was not me shaming them um, making them wrong. It was just like, hmm, is there a possibility within me where I could attract this, where I could like, I, I really need to take responsibility. And it really dawned on me. I was like, look, like I'm, I'm 21. Like if I don't, I don't do this now. And I've been living with these patterns all of my life. Then how do I, how do I shift this? Right. How do I, changed this because it's up to me, right? Like if it's, it, I, I just can't wait, you know, in even looking around my life, I have, I have been interested in a guy for like nine years. The guy never really saw me or, or was interested in me. And I just kept on going, you know, like wanting to get his attention and everything. This was a reflection of me feeling like I needed to get like, you know, my parents' attention, etc. It was just like unresolved energy being shifted into a different outlet. So the reason why I'm sharing all of this with you is because I was able to shift things for myself from being a person who used to stick around to men that weren't giving her the very best, right? Or who felt rejected by men, men who didn't notice her. Like I was not asked out on a date um, for 10 years, for example. What I would do is that I would just like submerge myself in work and not deal with the feeling or like the feeling of loss or insecurity or confusion that I had around being single and feeling like I had no power or control over what I could attract in my love life. It was just too much of a concept for me to understand in the first place. How many of you felt this way? You know, like you got it all together in your work life. You got it all together in your personal like life and your health. But then when it comes to love, like you have this like overwhelm, you know that you can have um, more, but you just don't know the path. You're just curious. Like if you only had the path, you would take action. Let me know in the comments if, it, if this is resonating. Like, what, like, are you the type of person that if somebody presented you the clear path, would you take it, right? Can you imagine what it would be like to just have a sense of ease about your love life? No pain, no suffering, no confusion, no need to protect your heart, no need to waste your time, you know, dating people that maybe like are not the right fit for you, right? And feeling like, mm, I don't know, I don't know if I have like, you know, how, how I can actually attract the very best, okay? And what, that's one of the reasons why I also wanted to do this training and uh, so clearly for me because I know without a doubt that, uh, I love it. Like a man, uh, yes. A man deep is saying like, Oh my God, that is so me. Perfect. Yes. So this is the truth because w let, let's think about this for a second. We are sold a clear path to everything in our lives. If we want to get fit, 
you do this. If you want to lose weight, you do this. If you want to gain weight, you do this. If you want to, you know, have a better job or you want to get better pay, you do this. But what, what is the normal advice that you normally get in love? Just be yourself. It will come to you. Okay. And like, that can be very frustrating because it's like, Hey, it's been 10 years. It's been like six years. It's been seven years. Like nothing has shifted. Like I'm attracting the same type of person in my life. And that advice for me personally, it's not the right advice to give. And I will explain to you why there is true empowerment, ladies, in knowing what to do and knowing that you have the power to really shift things around in your love life. No, here's the common example that I normally see within the women that I work with, right? It's, it's, or two women that I just see in general, because we haven't been taught how to attract the very best in love. Um, what normally happens is that if we're not aware enough, we can, we have to be very careful of how we are sold fear. Um, one of the things that I believe that we are sold, uh, in regards to love in the media and, um, you know, magazines, Facebook, like I don't want to call out Facebook. It's not just Facebook. It's not Facebook per se. It's like TV, right? Like TV shows that, that sounds better. So it's a lot of fear, a lot of survival tactics. I personally grew up with a TV show called here, uh, the battle of the sexes, right? And like, just think about that for a second. The idea that you have to fight the other sex. Why? Why do we even have that kind of thing? I grew up watching telenovelas. My mom used to be obsessed with it. And I was just, you know, um, I liked the telenovelas that, that really fed the, the, the fear in me or the anxiety of like needing love or feeling like I was not going to get it. Like, watching those shows of the woman that wasn't that attractive and then she had this total epic transformation in her beauty and then the guy would choose her. I was into those, you know, because it made me feel like I could connect, right? But then my mom was into all of them and it was just like, in my opinion of telenovelas, really and truly, like as, as soon as I started to wake up, it was just like, this is a lot of drama. This is a lot of drama. This is a lot of confusion. This is a lot of fear, tactics, anxiety, control, manipulation. Um, and a lot of suffering as well. So it's like, there, there's there gotta be something better. The number one thing that I wanna recommend for you today's ladies is us understanding that you do not have to attract love through the path of fear. The only way to attract the top quality love that you want, that you deserve, is through the path of love. You have to learn how to lead with love. So notice how when I first started, I said, you know, somebody told me like, hey, Nicole, like you could repeat this. And I was like, no way. Heck no. Like I was like, no, 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 no. Like I found this fire within me. All right. And it's important, ladies, that you first connect with your fire and you can write this down. You want to connect with your fire, your clear vision about the love that you want. And you like one of, one of the things that I love about me per se is that I'm like, committed, right? I'm really committed and I am willing to go to the ends of the earth to get what I want through the energy of love, not through manipulation, not through fear or anything of that sort. And if you're feeling confused, like, like, well, Nicole, how do I know what is fear? What is love, etc.? Like I'm, I'm, I'm on the same boat. I want to know more. And then keep on watching the, the, the training because I'm going to continue to guide you through this. Okay. So I had a lot of fear within me. And so sometimes a lot of my clients who, who, who work with me, like really powerful, successful women that when it comes to the area of love, because we haven't been taught better, um, you, you find yourself feeling fear because you haven't really learned how to manage this energy, how to transmute it and use it as fuel or as a higher energy of love rather than fear. So let me ask you these questions. Does manifesting the love you've always wanted like confuse you? Do you feel confused about feminine energy and why you haven't manifested the man that is the right fit for you yet? I cannot even begin to imagine how confusing it can be to try to understand feminine energy just by watching videos online, all right? Like trying to understand what this person has to say about feminine energy, what this other person has to say about feminine energy. Um, it's, it can be confusing, 
it can be really good in a way because you're getting all these details. I just want you to like know and bring up to your awareness for you to consider that just trying to get details from different people can, can create a, a, a time span that might not be ideal for you in regards to manifesting love. True change comes when you're committed and you are open and willing to just receive, you know, from the right source, whatever that is, what, what is really going to help you. There is a clear path that will guide you to meet the man and have the relationship of your dreams. First, you have to let go of fear. You have to let go of fear. Just trust me here that there is a clear path for you to attract love. And it is through your own leadership in love and in your feminine energy and your desire to have a powerful masculine man with you. All right. So those are the key principles. You first have to let go of fear. So how, do, how are some really interesting things that, um, that come up for you in regards to fear that I, that I want to bring up today? And the reason why I really know that it's important that you have a, a structure or a system that supports you in embodying all elements of your feminine energy. Because what I see online with all these videos is that one person is teaching you feminine energy through your body through your sexual energy. Another person is teaching you about um, uh, connection and the heart and leaning back, right? Another person is teaching you about this. So what happens when you don't have a clear path, especially as feminine beings? When we don't have a clear path, we don't feel safe, right? Imagine just grabbing something that you see online and testing it out, but then maybe not having it work out fully. You feel like you shut down and then you want to like open up again and it doesn't work fully and you shut down and it adds more confusion. It adds more frustration. Um, it can even make you feel sad, like lonely, etc. I want to be able to offer you a clear, clear path so that you really know what to do. Fear shows up in interesting ways when it comes in the area of love, just because we, we, the, the system in a way around us is built us is built on teaching us survival. You want to know, like there's two types of women that I see from this lack of knowledge and understanding of what happens. Number one, a woman that just feels super confused, overwhelmed um, by the whole idea, maybe doubting that love is not in the cards for her. That's fear. That, that's a lie uh, that you've been sold, right? That it just happens to certain lucky ones. And then there's the other woman that is like, you know what? Love is not working. Like, right, like, this relationship is not working. I'm not attracting the sort of a man that I want. And she starts to feel that like this anxiety, this frustration, and she just decides to take the bull by the horns. And she says, you know what? I like this guy. I'm going to get his number. If he doesn't commit in this or this or this format and out. And she's like on this constant go. But at the end, she's just using force to get something. Is this making sense? Please let me know in the comments below if this is making sense. These are two clear forms in which fear takes over your manifestation of your ideal love. Either it makes you feel lost, confused, sad, and it makes you stop momentum because you start doubting that you can have it, right? And you lose time. You lose your precious time. And or the other way is that you are on this constant go, trying to get love, um, taking the bull by the horns, but it's not clicking as well. This second version is more of a masculine version um, where the feminine is not fully trusting and open, okay? So we need to, like, I want to know in the comments, can you please share with me, where do you tend to identify yourself? In the first one or in the second one? I want to know my crowd because um, I know that I can attract in my community both types of women. And that is going to be really helpful when we do the clearing and the, the, the heart-based process. So I'm looking at the comments, um, waiting to, to, see your, to see your answers. And meanwhile, I'm just going to be reading what I'm seeing here. Uh, okay. All right. So Amandeep is saying, take the bull by the horns. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So what, how does that make you feel, Amandeep? Like, can you really share, like, um, what has come up 
for you by, by showing up in this way. Or maybe, ladies, you can even say both. Like, I tend to oscillate between both, like taking the bull by the horns and then stopping. <laughs> taking the bull by the horns and then stopping. A lot of resistance in what sense? Can you clarify? So Sony is saying, I want to know how to express my feminine energy in a long distance situation. Also, how to open up and be feminine after a lot of heartbreak and or not being safe. Um, that's, those are great questions, uh, Sony. Um, what makes you doubt that you're not expressing your feminine energy through a long distance situation? I would love to know that, that would be really helpful for, for this training. So you want to first really, so, so far I have a man deep's comment about, you know, taking the bull by the horns. She's saying that she experienced a lot of resistance when I'm leaning with my masculine energy. I tend to push guy, push away guys. Yeah, exactly. So ladies, let's, let's move into this. You want to learn to lead with love, okay? And you don't want to let fear take over your love life um, or let anxiety or fear of you not having love take over. There is a clear path. What I would love to know for this training is I would love to um, read in your comments uh, what are the key things that you've learned about feminine energy? This could really make the training really interesting. Okay. Please share with me in the comments section, or if you cannot, uh, if you cannot write on the chat box, I would like to hear from at least two of you on the phone or, you know, just to unmute yourself. I would like to know what is it that you've learned about feminine energy and attraction? Feel free to comment. I do not bite. Ladies, I want to help you. <laughs> I want to help you. And feminine energy is all about connection and trust. So let me really show you that I am here, that you can trust me, that you can have the answers and the support that you need. Be really good. So Sharon said, I can see when I lean back, I'm focused on myself, my emotional being, that things flow much easier for me. All right, Sharon, so what seems to be your issue in regards to feminine energy? Who would like to speak up, ladies? All right. Do you have, are you ladies having a fear of being seen? Let me know if you're having a fear of being seen. Um, what stops you from being, from keeping your momentum going, Shannon? Like that, that, Sharon, that would be great to know. All right, ladies, I totally invite you to connect. Um, I'm going to be able to feed off of your energy, uh, like that, like, you know, like be, be able to keep this like really good energy going and also really knowing how to best support you. Um, so if there's anything that's making you timid, like just let yourself be seen in this moment so that I can best support you. Okay. So Lisa saying, I try to lean back and get into the softness of this, but then sometimes nothing happens. So when you mean nothing happens, tell me more specifically, Lisa, is it that men do not show up, um, that they're not pursuing you, that you're not going on dates? Can you give me more clarity of what this means exactly? All right. So Sharon is saying doubts want to creep in and I have to really focus on releasing that doubt and just trust that things are going to work out without me pushing and striving. Okay. Really key thing that you provided here, Sharon, Sharon. That's amazing. Okay, perfect. Great. Thank you so much, ladies, for, for answering these questions. So we, before we move into the feminine, the, 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 the magnetic feminine energy um, and the magnetic self-worth of the feminine, we want to really understand what feminine energy is and the polarity and the true power that comes from feminine energy and how magnetic we really are. Are. Feminine energy is the embodiment of receiving, opening, like being open, allowing, yielding, and letting yourself be seen. So that's why whenever I, one of the things that one of my coaches taught me was like, sometimes the way that we do everything, like the way we do one thing is the way that we do everything. 
I have had conversations with clients in the past where um, I know that they had like a resistance or a fear of being seen, you know, like um, uh, they, they would have a fear of speaking up or sharing their point of view on free webinars like this and all of that. Whatever that fear is or that doubt is from, you know, asking a question could be one of the things that could be showing up in the way of you letting yourself have love. Um, one of the things actually that I noticed that women have when it comes to dating and, and love coaching and you, you, I want ladies, I want you to open up with me and tell me the truth. I mean, I have spoken with thousands of women in my community for years and I know this and I've been, um, really looking forward to address this is sometimes a lot of women can even have shame about like learning about love. And it's so, it's, it's a fascinating thing to me because <sighs> there is this conversation about having fear about knowing that you have a love coach or having a dating coach, et cetera. Like there's something wrong with you. Um, there's nothing wrong with you. The only thing that's wrong is the perception that there's something wrong with you or that you should feel shame about this. Okay. Love is something to be proud of and really understanding that we live in a society that has been teaching us like fear every single minute of the day and letting yourself have the best love, you know, it's something to like, you know, wear a badge, you know, proud badge on, like I am committed to love because I love and I honor myself so much that I will not settle. I will not settle for somebody that's in fear. I will not settle for a man that is in fear. I will not settle. I will not care about what, whatever other people think about me having a love coach because one of the things that I, um, you will see in this journey is that um, people who shame you, they are in fear. Hurt people hurt people, right? So it's about, you know, imagine letting shame or fear take over you. That's the dominant vibration. And the dominant vibration of shame is I'm not good enough. So really dropping the shame and just saying, I am good enough. And the reason why I'm giving this is because I am worthy of this and I am worthy of the best. And really shift things around for you. And I see that something that sometimes can stop women and it's like, oh, like, should I even like, you know, have this? I would just invite you to drop the shame, ladies, because the shame is, um, is one of the things that actually keeps you attracting men that are not the right fit for you. If you ever find yourself being shamed by a man, that just shows you that he's in fear. If you find yourself being shamed by a woman for having something like that, that just shows you that that person is in fear. Now, do you want to fit in with people who are in fear or do you want to claim having the top best love for you? Um, that's something that I had to really speak up. I, I really, for me personally, I had to learn that a person's opinion, you know, that, that was like built in shame, like could never have power over me. And it just showed me their state of consciousness, Right. And when I, whenever I would, you know, explore it deeper, I would find out that that person was in deep pain and had a lot of hatred in their heart, et cetera. So it's time to just forgive and release that. And nothing, like it's, you, it's your vision. It's your love life, right? Like you have to really stand strong and open and available for love. That makes sense. So here's a key thing about feminine energy that's going to really help you really get it. The feminine is an energy that is proud. She understands that she's beautiful. She understands that she's worthy and her capacity to want to like learn love and embody love is her biggest pride because she understands that she is the embodiment of love and she has a deeper desire in learning how to love more. One of the biggest myths that I see people, women operating under is if it's meant to be, it'll happen. It will just come, you know, I'll just wait. Um, and then like Lisa was sharing and Sharon was sharing. Um, you start like, Hey, but nothing is shifting ladies. You can't afford to wait in your love life. Now I'm not going to invite you to create through force and, um, you know, take the bull by the horns. I'm going to teach you a more holistic and whole some way of embodying your feminine energy while being present, while being dedicated to what is really present and what you can have in your love life. You do need to be present. You, knew, you do need to be intimate with this process or else time will pass you by and you might not 
get exactly what you're looking for and it might leave you in a disempowered space where you might blame and you might wonder it's like oh but i waited but i didn't get what i wanted okay so if you are committed if you're intimate with this process and you have a strong willingness to say yes i'm worthy of love and i'm going to figure out whatever it is that i need to figure out to align myself with love then you are on the right track and we are you know you and i are aligned very much so i can best support you so let's talk about feminine energy the feminine energy that attracts top quality um attraction men uh the the masculine men that really that really come forth and that are present you want to know that in order for you to attract the top quality love you have to be committed okay to your process and it's not and you can write this down by trying to force a man to choose you or operating from an energy of fear going on dating sites from an energy of fear from anxiety you're not going to avoid those feelings either the real process of a magnetic feminine woman that lets herself have the very best and the three pillars that i really um really recommend women to work on is in how like feminine energy is trusting open and magnetic so let's stay with this today how trusting are you how open are you how connected with your magnetism are you are the three concepts that i'm going to really share with you today that really help you just attract at a different level so i know that some of you when you heard trusting you could have been like trusting like do you want me to trust a man like how am i going to trust a man how am i going to trust that i'm going to attract the very best for me so this is the first misconception i'm not asking you to go just trust the first guy that shows up for you and tells you that wants to bring you the the whole moon and the stars feminine energy understands that she is the very source of the universe she is light she is love just by who she is by default she knows that she's more than enough she is it okay um that can be very different from what you've been taught or what you perceive while growing up maybe you picked up on habits of fear like oh my dad is not showing love etc or i'm not feeling loved by this then you start to shut down and you start to question your worth. In order for you to fully embody trust, you have to really there are three layers here in regards to trust that are going to help you have like this magnetic self-confidence that is going to attract the very best in life. And in love, one, you want to really understand and create a really beautiful relationship with the universe or with God. There's a spiritual side of the feminine and that spiritual side of the feminine is her understanding how the universe works because she's a master of love she has a very close relationship with the energy of love she knows how to trust her source god the universe whoever you want to call it okay she's not disconnected from her relationship with the universe so how does the feminine become disconnected from her relationship with the universe you start believing lies you start believing in fear the fear that people will tell you oh you want too much oh you're too much or you cannot have that like you always ask for more why can't you just settle you start believing other people's ideas people that have been disconnected from love and then you start saying oh i'm too much or i'm not going to get this or maybe you've built this super empowered career or business and you feel like no man is going to choose you because men are intimidated by you or you know your girlfriend tell you like he's just intimidated by you and you start believing it maybe thinking i'm too much one of the 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 things about the feminine energy where she where she's operating in fear she either has to believe that she's too much or that she's not enough okay well in reality you're perfect so it is a statement on really really being willing to stabilize your energy understanding your power and knowing that relationships have a spiritual nature to them this is how you become trusting it's not a trust first with the 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 man 
It's a trust first with your universe, understanding the spiritual side of relationships. Okay. There's lessons in love, not in fear in every relationship that can really help you move forward. The problem is that you've been learning how to react in fear. So you keep your fear active. Therefore you keep your, your, the things you don't want showing up in your life. Let me know if this is making sense. And if you have any questions about this, I really want to be able to hear from you in regards to this. So you want to understand that there's a spiritual side of relationships and it's a very active ingredient in what is showing up in your life. And in order for me to best explain this, I'm going to share with you a little bit about your ego, like that fear-based voice, that base, um, that thing that makes you feel separate from others. I personally love the book, A Course in Miracles, because I feel like it has a very high frequency. Um, and it teaches a lot of like really understanding love. Okay. Perfect. So Sharon said, this is so resonating with me. I understand about the spiritual aspect more and more. Perfect. So it, as the ego, ladies, your fear-based voice feels separate, right? Feels, I can't have love. I will not have love. Uh, I must fear people. People don't want to love me. People want to hurt me. I have to protect my heart. You know, I'm going to get heartbroken. Um, somebody's going to break my heart. It builds all these cases against love. Um, right, and it keeps you feeling disconnected too much or not enough. Okay? So my biggest pet peeve in regards to, to, to this whole thing about feminine energy around like the internet is that, um, women just grab on to, because like, there's no clear path, right. Uh, to this thing of like, say this text to this guy and, um, that's going to make him want you kind of thing. So you are sending out a text, but within your energy, you, you, because you're in the embodiment of love and but you're not owning that, you're like, hmm, you're anxious, you're wondering, you're not, you're not really understanding who you really are and you've disconnected because you're operating from a separated self. You're operating from the fear, like the ego, okay? Um, and the fear can show up in you having anxiety, in you feeling numb, and you feeling like apathy, like you want to quit or it's not going to work or you're feeling unworthy it can show up in many different ways. It can even show up through anger uh, or entitlement or just frustration that you believe that it's not going to happen. Like you, you, you have this deep fear that it's not going to happen. Okay. So you could be doing text, you know, you can be sending out things, you could be dressing differently, you could be doing your hair but your embodiment of the whole um, aspect and wholesome side of the feminine is, is still like rooted in fear. You have a lot of fear and you want to own that. Um, and it's like, like, sh like showing up in your narrative and in how you're, you're feeling comfortable in your body. Okay. So when you are operating from that space, you create, defense mechanisms within your heart you try you create the shield where you don't let yourself have love so you want to first to really move from that space where you're not clear that you will have love so you want to be able to move into the confidence of understanding that you can have love of your higher self that at the end of the day you're one that you can love that it's safe to love and to respond in love rather than in fear to respond in love doesn't mean that you're going to stay with somebody that didn't like, you know, that is not doing good by you. It means that you are not taking in the energy of being heartbroken ever again. And this is a huge thing because whenever you claim being heartbroken to the extent that you don't let yourself open up again, first it happens because you don't have clarity of what to do and how to show up. And that is understandable. But now with this, um, with this clarity, you can start to really empower yourself and feel like strong and rooted in knowing that you are, you are worthy, right? And that you can attract love from a different way, from the, the true empowered feminine way. Okay. So what is available for you when you connect with this spiritual side of the feminine? You have a strong connection with your universe, with God, with life, law of attraction, whoever you want to call it. You understand that life is bringing to you in many shapes or forms um, 
certain beliefs that you might have about love, not because it's trying to hurt you. Life wants you to have what you want, right? It's just showing you that you're so powerful and because you're holding on to this point of view so strongly, you keep attracting it into your life. Is this making sense? It's just showing you, hey, lovey, like for example, hey, Sharon, hey, Lisa, um, you, you want love, uh, but you have this belief that a man is going to hurt you that you cannot trust men, et cetera, right? Or you've shut down your heart and you are not letting yourself move forward, then the invitation is actually one to really like open up to the spiritual side of things. Like how can you embody a higher consciousness of love, of trust, right? That trust first starts with the universe and then it translates into trusting yourself. Uh, trusting yourself that you will not react in fear anymore, that you will not react in apathy and shame and guilt um, and doubt and anxiety and all those things. And you're building an inner strength within you, uh, a communication of sorts between you, like, like the universe and yourself, right? And because you're so strong in that side, not only does it helps you to start being really magnetic and confident to weigh that most men are going to be really intrigued by, and it's going to start activating and attracting the men that you want for you. It is also going to show you what you're capable of, and it's going to stop attracting your way men that are not fit, that are not um, that are not going to commit, etc. Because you're not putting your trust in a man first. You are building your own sort of field of trust, trust in the universe trust in yourself to then through this energy know whether you can trust a man in front of you or not and know that you have the capacity to respond in love and not in fear ladies let me know if this is resonating so far i would like to hear in the comments um your your questions i see that lisa you raised your hand love do you want to say something i would love to hear from you you can uh, unmute yourself. Or let me know if you want me to unmute. Let me just do this. Hi, Lisa. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. So what were you, uh, what were you saying? Right. So you were just agreeing with everything that, that I was saying. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much, Christina and, and Lisa. Um, can you tell me what are you like, what are you loving about this? Like, it's so important in these moments to really just bring up what is connecting with you uh, and just okay. really create that practice. So you really want to understand this because when you haven't really mastered this piece of the trust in the universe, in yourself, um, and then knowing you know, yourself enough to know whether you can trust the man in front of you, then what happens is depending on one of those areas where you might not be fully confident in is that you might attract a guy that you kind of like, but you're doubting that he's the right one. And somewhere along your, like, the way your intuition was telling you like, I don't think this guy is the right fit for me. But then you keep on dating and then something happens and you're just like, oh my God, like I should have listened to myself, right? Um, it's so important to really avoid these things. Like these are three areas of, um, of, of the masterpiece that I invite you to really connect with. Because guess what? The feminine actually energy is not easily um, impressed. She's not impressed by fear. She knows herself and she knows love so well. And she can detect when somebody is in fear. And she also understands the nature of the universe, that the universe wants to give her love. That when, like, if she meets a man that is not the right fit, she's not shrinking. She's not reverting back to patterns of, I'm not going to be loved, right? Um, and then sabotaging her time frame of attracting love, right? And um, building up any stories of her ego along the way. I really had to learn this. Um, I've seen women really like fight the universe. It's, and, and, and it's actually a projection of maybe them 
not trusting the masculine, not trusting that the universe wants to give them love. And I was really shaking up like this as well. And I really had to learn how to soften, to open up, to create an active, um, intimate relationship with the universe and understand that I'm not like men, you know, like the feminine holds this strong connection and conviction about life. We understand subtle energies. We're spiritual in nature. We are creative beings. It's like we bring like spirit into form. We're incubators. So we do have that bigger intuition, that understanding of things. And that is what kind of gives us what I like to call like an otherworldly confidence. Um, men and masculine energy are more of like the earthly realm. So I really love inviting that polarity because you're not easily impressed by men that are trying to operate in fear. Um, you don't give your power away. You don't, you don't, you don't give all, like you don't give of yourself and deplete yourself in the process. Does that make sense? And you can decipher more clearly whether, you know, what, how a relationship is going to end or where it's going to go because you can see what, how the other person is showing up. Okay. Um, it doesn't make you feel separate. It doesn't make you feel alone. You, you, you have a team of support, right? Like you have backup, you know that you're amazing and you know that you're more than enough. And it's an area where most women do not see this clearly. Okay. They feel like they need to learn how to trust themselves more. They feel like they need to learn how to just um, you know, be sexier, you know, have the best, you know, skin or whatever. Um, but it's not just that really mastering this, this trusting peace and relationship with your universe yourself is your center as a feminine being. Mm -hmm. So you're not wasting time. It is your center. Hopefully this is making sense. This is resonating. Mm -hmm. It's your center. All right, ladies. It's not, it's not like, um, you're, you're no longer like in like low key anxiety or fear. Like, is it going to happen or is it going to happen too late? Like you have the power to just, you know, grab and say, Hey, I can actively attract this by being committed, by being all in, by exploring where am I not trusting and moving forward and having a really clear path. If you haven't really mastered this, this could be one of the reasons why you could be out there dating and you're doing all these things, but you're attracting the same type of men or the men don't show up. It's because deep down you haven't really fully mastered the trust piece. Okay. Um, and I have had to learn this the hard way of just like, like, you know, throwing myself in the water and learning how to commit and learning how to build my trust because I used to have this belief that I was alone, right? How many of you relate with having a belief that you're alone in this and figure this out? You're not. That's why, I am here. That's why other people are like that, that operate in this business. You are not alone. Feminine energy thrives in community. You don't have to figure it out everything by yourself. I'm all about removing all, um, all reasons of sabotage, right? Um, that could get in the way of this. All right. So let's see. Let's see. So Mafusa is saying, Oh, I love this. Yes. A big thing that creeps up is, not trusting my actions and thoughts and second guessing things. Exactly. So where does that come from, Mafusa? Like, where, where does it come from? Why do you feel like you, you're doubting that? Let me know. So Sharon's saying it feels comforting to trust source before anyone. I know, right? It's like trust, source will guide me to know the truth. But if I run away from source, all I will see everywhere I go are my fears. All right? And I will keep creating shields when there's a deeper opportunity to lower them and to invite more love in. So let's say, um, and I'm going to give you an example, ladies, for you to see this. One time I was on a date with this guy and this guy was showing up in such a way that it was like freaking me out. Like one of the things that my mom taught me about men, um, that was that men are cheap. And so we were going out, and it was about a matter like he was inviting me to a place and he didn't even pay for like one dollar right um like the ticket of the place and it was like a sort like it was a date and i was freaking out i was like what 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 on earth like i just don't understand this all these thoughts started to build up in my mind right and that was already out you know but then i realized wow like no 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 nicole like i i know better than this i have i'm not gonna create a wall here 
something in this man is making him show up this way. Maybe I just, I'm just going to drop my defenses and want to like get to know more about him in a sense. And as soon as I drop that defense and I really back, got back down to peace, like A Course in Miracles says, peace is a measurement of truth. The guy opened up and he started telling me that there was like a cultural difference between us and that he wanted to know what was the best way to court me because where he would come from, like it was actually normal, but he could sense that I was sort of different and he wanted to know more about me and how I would like to be courted. Now imagine if I had just shut down completely ladies and just been out the door. All right. So understanding that there's a spiritual side to things and really knowing how to manage it, really being structured and depending on your own life story and your own beliefs, etc., you can create an opening where there is a wall or where there is a door. But if you only operate by believing that you are alone, then you will most likely hear, like listen to the voice of fear and not have the breakthrough that you want love at the end at the core of it it has a more of a spiritual essence to things it's about coming together becoming one it's a it's an energy of transcendence so if you only listen to the voice of your ego you will like be out the door when you were actually given an opportunity in that moment to open up to even more love i'm not saying that that's going to be the exact case in every situation it might be that you know it might not be the right fit with the guy but that's still an opportunity for you to remain open and to really know how to operate from this space. Let me know if that resonates. So let's see. So Sharon said, Nicole, since connecting to source more in the last two weeks, my intuition about people has been on point. It has, if I can see things about people, I know reading between the lies and what they say. Yes, exactly. Um, so Aisha is asking, Nicole, can you please elaborate more about differentiating between instinct and fear? Um, mm -hmm. and then Lisa is saying, why do, as women feel like we aren't enough, why do we allow men to make us feel this way? It's interesting that you mentioned that Lisa, what do you mean by, why do we allow men to make us feel this way? That I'm curious about that part of the question. And I mean, Deep is saying, if you approach something with masculine energy and push away a man, is it possible to shift gears with shifting energy? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll dive deeper into that, Ellen Deep. So, so let's see. Aisha is asking differentiation between instincts and fear. That is a deeper question, Aisha. And that's why I'm just um, I'm giving you an overview. But I can give you a clear like answer. And at the same time, please understand that you are your own person and you have your own fears right and we need to really like explore it deeper like what are your fears etc so you can soften and, and release them that's why i said i do not like to give yes i will give you a clear path and i also want you to see the importance and the value of really like letting yourself invest time energy money in this because it's your unique story and when you are in report with somebody else that knows what they're coaching you on they can clearly see what's there and you will fast forward in, like, in, in, in an incredible way, right? So Aisha, to answer your question and to anybody who has asked this question, one of the key things is that you will feel peace. Your energy will feel more expanded when it's more of an instinct-based thing. You need to first release the fear so that and really trust yourself and your source. And from that space, you will be able to hear your guidance more like better. If you are in fear, you will notice yourself feeling more uptight, tense, um, like, like this, like, like shoulders like this, feeling like you're closed off. Your mind is constantly asking questions, not trusting. It means you haven't learned how to really like let go, be present, and really trust yourself. So you will notice a more expanded energy within you like by like accessing the trust in your higher self, in the universe, yourself, and um, life. And then um, you, will, you will walk with more confidence and you will stop reacting. Let me know if that resonates. I do say that it's important to know what are your fears, your own unique life story. Like I shared the example today. One of the thoughts that I learned from my mom was like men were cheap, right? So that was a thing that would trigger me and I just really had to go within and get to know myself. As soon as I started working with a coach, 
um, in, in this area, I was able to move so quickly because this other person could really see me, right? And understand what was going on for me. And that really helped. So um, Lisa, so you were saying, why do we as women feel like we aren't enough? I feel like it just starts like an innocent fear of maybe growing up, Lisa, like when you were growing up with your parents, you had like one small instance or maybe several where you felt like you weren't like lovable or you weren't like good enough, et cetera. It's not that men are making you feel that way. It's important to know that we have been carrying that energy about ourselves somewhere. So that's why I say it's important to take responsibility. Um, many women actually feel fear of facing this feeling of maybe not being good enough. I, and I get it. It's, it but you want to also understand that it's impossible for you not to be good enough. That's why you want to really build up your sense of self-worth and love, not through, just through force, like repeating yourself, like I am more than enough. I am more than enough. I am more than enough. Um, you want to be able to really get that really like sink in at every level in your being, in your mind, in your heart, in your body, right? So that you can be an embodiment of that knowing so that when you meet a man that could tell you a comment or that doesn't choose you, you don't revert back into thinking that you weren't good enough. Does that make sense? It's, it's about really the embodiment. Feminine energy is about being and masculine energy is about the doing. So that's why I said this other like archetype of a woman that takes the bull by the horns, she will try to use a lot of force to get something. She would um, repeat to herself in her mind, I am more than, more than enough, more than enough. And you know what? Like if this guy doesn't want me, then, you know, screw it. Like I'm done. And she's like, I'm on to the next one, et cetera. Like on this outside search, like waiting for a man that's going to really choose her. But then we have to really look within to see where we're not feeling it so that we can fully embody it. Mind, heart, body, and spirit, right? Feminine is about being. It's the whole like spectrum and picture of our essence. That way our energy is congruent and it's coherent. All right. It's coherent. Therefore, when you are embodying this energy of being more than enough, you attract the people who really see you. How do you do that? By learning how to release those fears at every level in your being, okay? Um, so ladies, is this resonating? Let me know in the comments below. I'm excited to support you with all of this. Um, let's move into the second piece of this because I mentioned the word open. And for those of you who are watching this screen, um, you will see that I, that I made the word open bigger, right? And this is a secret. You have to learn how to really be open. You have to lead with openness. You have to lead with love. And this is the biggest piece here because you find your confidence by, because I said feminine energy is an open energy, it's a receptive energy, by learning how to be open to love at all times. When you don't know your inner strength and you don't know who you really are and you are still in a react space in love meaning something happens with a guy and you know it didn't work out and you're like I'm gonna shut down again like I got super heartbroken because of this and oh my god love is so painful that is one of the beliefs that people have about love that we've been taught about love like in order for you to have the love you have to suffer or maybe you saw your mom suffering inside of a relationship understand that when you are really choosing to embody the, this piece of the trusting that I mentioned, right? The suffering stops and you understand that true healing occurs when you know how to keep an open heart. The door that opens up is because your heart is open. So, um, and this is really interesting because that means that you never stop believing and you have a willingness to open yourself up to love and to be love. Imagine a flower, right? A lot of people associate flowers with feminine energy. Imagine if a flower uh, is open, right? And then you, you suddenly see like this really nervous flower that is like, but I don't want this person to really like, you know, come and be around me and probably like touch me or like smell like, no, 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 no. Like I have to shut down. Right? Like, and then like, woo, like now that person's gone, I can open up. And then the flower's like this all the time, <laughs> all of the time, all of the time. 
No, the flower is uh, and its fragrance is it's amazing and it's magnetic because it's always open. It's always inviting. In order for you to really embody this, you have to learn how to really heal your heart. And this is one of the major key elements that I personally can see how it can help Sharon. It can help a man deep. And uh, Lisa as well, like, or, and, and many other ladies here in the group, this is the area where you, when you're not open, you attract the most amount of emotionally unavailable men. What makes you close your heart? The belief that you might not get it, the belief that it might, you know, that it might not happen for you, the belief that somebody's going to try to hurt you, uh, the belief that love is hard, that it's going to be difficult for you to find it. And you start becoming wary um, and you're thinking, oh my God, I don't want to make a mistake like in my past relationship. All of these assumptions start at the core level because you haven't really mastered your center in this trusting peace and your connection with your source and understanding the spiritual side of relationships, okay? And the understanding that life is telling you, hey, you want something, but you, your heart is closed down right now. It's shut down. And we cannot give you what you want if you keep embodying this energy because it's the opposite of what you want. You have to learn how to find our strength with us in the universe and choose to open up, have that willingness to be open and understanding that whenever somebody shows up in front of you and they're operating in a way that is not the right fit, it's not because of you. You don't have to fear them. You just understand that that person is operating in fear but you don't want to operate in fear. So you move out, like you move into the next energy and you are willing to drop whatever fear was there. A woman with her open heart is one of the core principles of what leads her to be super magnetic and attracting to the right type of men. When you are um, with your heart closed or in fear or like your heart has this shield and you're just, trying to do feminine energy um, and you're wondering like how do I get this man's attention like um, all of that and you are in that space you're not letting yourself have the intimacy that you want or attract the man that has fully an open heart because what the the media teaches you is that you have to wait to see if the man is showing up and then open up your heart but your confidence does not depend on a man your confidence comes from the universe in yourself. And you understand that you have better health with an open heart, right? You understand that you feel better about yourself with an open heart. You understand how really leading with your open heart can create all these amazing breakthroughs in your life, in your business and everything. When you start to shut down your heart, you start to become sad, depressed. It affects your health, ladies. Like our nature is to be open and it's important to not give our power away to another person. So you might be asking yourself, but Nicole, like I'm feeling like, you know, like I could feel really confused. How do I have a clear path on attracting the love that I want? That is why I said at the beginning that you must learn how to lead with love. When you master your communication with the universe, and you know how to ask and really learn how to release your fears once and for all, not just at a mind level. You don't avoid them. You're willing to release them from your heart and you have a willingness to open up your heart and be open. You are embodying the qualities of a person that is already committed and open to love and to give the greatest love. You're not in a waiting state. And that is really feminine as well. Because many women believe or perceive that that would be masculine. It's not. It's your openness that is key here. So one of the biggest things here is that, ladies, you want to be aware of where you are um, having a shield. I believe it was Sharon or maybe it was Amanda at the beginning that um, you, you were asking, like, you know, if I, like, when I'm relaxing, like it's all good, but then nothing happens. The reason why nothing is happening is because you haven't really fully healed your heart and your heart is not open or maybe connected in this place of your center where you know your power 
and you've released like the pain, the assumptions, etc. Okay. If you're feeling anxiety, et cetera, worries that it's not going to happen, what you really need to focus on ladies is on healing your heart and like really building that trust in the universe. And when I mean building the trust in the universe is owning your power to know that you can move forward and create, move with intention, with clarity and um, with an otherworldly power, right? It's, 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 it's that this, like you're not a dormant, like feminine energy is not dormant. It's like life force energy. What do you feel like? What do you think that before, whenever we use see names of like hurricanes, etc., they all they had the name of a woman. We have power. We have like life force within us, right? We are unstoppable, and we know what we want, and we do not settle. So this connection with your source is the element of owning your power. This other piece about it's healing your heart. Because when you're, you're, you are in fear or you are in insight, it means that you are not, like you haven't really learned how to have, create a solid path of owning your power, understanding the spiritual principles of, principles of love so that you can really let yourself have love. Let me know, ladies, if this is resonating, if it's making sense, I would love to know what is clicking for you. If you'd like to share, I would, I would invite you to um, you know, raise your hand or unmute yourself, share or also write in the, in the, in the comments below. Um, yes, I would love to receive some feedback from you in regards to, to all of this right now, ladies. So it's about owning your power. It's about understanding that when you, like, you know clear principles of, like, spiritual principles of love, and you commit to having love, meaning, you no longer are testing things. You're not in and out, in and out, in and out. You will have your breakthrough. You have to learn how to commit to move forward. Is this resonating? Let me know, ladies. I want to know um, what is clicking, if you have any questions in regards to this, so we can move forward. Um, the, the this this piece is essential ladies most of the women that i know of what's actually blocking them is a tra is, is is their hearts are not open and they haven't really fully not only learned the principles but my honest feedback is that they haven't really they haven't committed okay they are like in fear in and out in and out in and out in and out right and then you attract men that are in the same in and out energy and Many times men are mirrors. They mirror back to you what you're believing and you're like the whole life is a mirror in many ways. So it's about really taking responsibility and committing. Love is an energy of commitment. Okay, perfect. So Christina is saying trusting the universe fully is what I think I'm missing. So why do you believe that, Christina? Like what 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 is the gap there? So Mafusa is saying, haha, love the flower analogy. That makes so much sense. So it's about embodying it's as you walk through life in all areas. Yes, 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 yes. That makes sense. So Sharon is saying, uh, yes, I'm so glad you're explaining this. I want to heal my heart completely and open up my heart. Yes. Ladies, the biggest and the best analogy that you want to understand about why nothing is happening in your love life is because somewhere in your heart, you stopped all momentum from coming in, right? Because there, there could be a fear of what could happen if you open up. Does that make sense? And the only thing that creates that fear could be the belief that you're alone, that it's not going to work, that you cannot trust the universe fully. You see what I mean? So we need to go deeper, ladies, understanding your unique story, what makes you fear so that we can release it. That's one of the reasons why I have magnetic self-worth uh, because I don't recommend just taking advice on the internet just like that because it wastes time, time. I have so many women that come to me at the last minute because they want to have kids, et cetera. And you know, they're reading all this stuff online and it's not clicking. It's like, well, nobody else is you. Right. And it's important that you like, like love yourself enough to just find out what it is and be done with it. Does that make sense? Like not create or add any sort of anxiety or stress to your life. Like nobody's got time for that. 
It's about really choosing yourself, having answers, and knowing the clear path, and you're good to go. So let's see. Um, I also don't want to have a heart attack as heart problems run in my family. And two female relatives died from breast or ovarian cancer. Um, so that, that's, that's very interesting, Sharon. Um, stuff with the heart, in my experience, you know, breast cancer and all that, it's many times women who don't know how to process their feelings well, and they store it all in their heart, okay? So you have all of this fearful energy here, all of this maybe suffering energy here. So as feminine beings, we're not meant to be in suffering and wondering and like any sort of like energy that makes us feel um, like we won't, we won't have love and that we, have, that, that we are powerless. It's about releasing it. Like I remember the first time where I started to really open up my heart. Oh my God, it was intense. You know, I had like, it, it was intense, but hey, I'm a woman of my word. I'm committed. <laughs> so I just did it and like amazing things open up in my life. Uh, in regards to receiving and letting myself receive as well. So I'm going to give you an example, for example, of my client, Claudia. What I love about Claudia is that she says she was able to open up to a wonderful relationship after 10 years of singleness. This is what I mean about closing your heart and building up layers or, or a shield that stops things from moving. It's not because you are like unattractive or men are intimate, like intimidated by you or whatever it might look like. Believe me, that's just your defense mechanism. That's just, just your shield. If you're attracting men that only want sex and you're like disgusted by it, you're like, Oh, that's just your shield. Okay. You are attracting something that make you want to shut down and to keep proving this point to you. You're not weak. You're not a victim. You are so powerful that you are, keeping everything at a distance because you need to really heal your heart. So it's interesting because she, she met, she says, I'm now in love with a wonderful man who adores me and wants to have a future with me. Nicole supported me massively through energetic work, which is like the heart release process that I really guide my clients through. And they're in regards to trust, really knowing what's specific to you. And she, like, I helped her go through a journey of self-acceptance and discovery with lots of empathy, but also concrete support and orientation. Ladies, as feminine beings, when we have concrete support and orientation about how to move through something that is going to give us, like, a whole mind, body, spirit, like, change and result, as women, we feel safe. We no longer have to be worrying, like, anxious. We can just trust the process. So she's already recommending, you know, um, you know, like working with me with her friends. And I, and I really love that because it's, it, it was so interesting. She helped, I helped her, as she says here, I helped her gain trust in her femininity, right? Many women um, have this belief that being feminine, it just means like, oh, I have to be beautiful. I have to take care of my hair. I have to do all these things and, and, and then have this anxiety that if they don't meet a certain criteria, the man is going to leave. That is still fear. I like as I shared before, like the feminine energy is this otherworldly energy of total confidence and like just power and magnetism. How do you own that? Your power, knowing the universe and really just understanding and living through the spiritual principles of love and knowing that you can attract differently and keeping your heart open is a very key piece. Okay. So let's see. Um so let's see. Yeah. So Christine says, do you have any mantras or exercises you constantly do to connect with your trust with the universe? Beautiful question, Christina. It's about also choosing to be open to the universe and have a, uh, um, like a really like willingness to embody and to drop resistance with the universe. So it, it would be more specific on to, what is your point of resistance? I, I feel like that's why, um, I, that's why I asked you, like, what makes you doubt? I would love to know your point of resistance because it depends for every person, right? Um, so I would love to know. So, and then I love this comment by Carmen. She said, because, th thank you from my heart because I've turned a new leaf. Since the trainings, I feel happier and more self-confident going out into the world and finding my soul soulmate. Yes open hearted now and not holding back on this mission. Ladies, where are you holding back? 
Where are you letting fear let you hold back? Um, sometimes having the support of somebody like that really knows what you're doing makes you feel safe in continuing and not holding back and just going all out. Um, there is this myth about us like having to do it all by ourselves. All that I've seen for that, like in my life, is just in and out energy once again, right? And you want to be able to trust yourself in love, okay? That you can be all out. Um, and there is practices for that. So, Christina, just let me know your, where you find that resistance. Um, so, like I said, it's about really having the willingness to not just embody this at a mental level, but a mind, heart, body level, okay? So, thank you for walking me through the steps of clearing the obstacles in my path. You're bursting with great wisdom, and I could not have chosen a better love coach. I adore Carmen. She says, your points with inspiration, and I have learned in depth a new language of love, which is what I said um, earlier in the beginning, like operating in a love language that is not built in fear and scarcity and expectations and codependency, and really mastering the spiritual principles of the feminine energy and the commitment to really just open, learn how to open up yourself to somebody is a key thing and attract the same thing in return. So she's now allowing herself to know and fully operate from a place that all is possible. Now, I wanted to talk to you about, before we move into this, this testimonial, I wanted to move into the magnet, magnetism. Um, perfect. So Christina is saying, thanks, Nicole. I feel like I have to explore what is really blocking me from trusting the universe fully. You go there, Christina, and I promise you, and you commit to really doing that, um, you will, you will be on the right track. I also invite you to really explore, sometimes trusting the universe and trusting yourself can be really tied, okay? So the openness is key, right? Imagine that you're not open and you're trying to attract the man that is open, like like attracts like, ladies. So knowing that you, you have the, the, the power when you understand these principles uh, to really transcend past pain, points of views, um, that can make you want to shut down. Okay. The other element about being magnetic in your feminine essence is the magnetism. Okay. So what is the magnetism? It's this deep and subtle and powerful art of just owning your worth in a way that is still open and that is available to have, um, a masculine presence before you, in front of you, that wants to lead, that wants to care for you, etc. Many women that I know of that are like really powerful, rocking it in business, in their love life, like in, in their in their in their health or in their careers, um, have this energy about themselves where I, they're just like, I'm just so confident, right? And I get it. The thing here is about this confidence is that I've seen them in, in many ways, and this might shock you. It's a confidence that can be slightly repelling, right? Because it's a confidence that to the masculine man that you want. Why is that? Because you, you might feel like you're fighting the masculine subconsciously in some sort of shape or form, or you might have a belief that the masculine will not accept you. So somewhere along in your energy, you are in resistance to the masculine energy showing up on the outside in. You know, you are in resistance to having a masculine man in front of you and choosing you because you either have a belief that he will not accept you, right? Or um, you are you're thinking that you're not going to attract a man that's really going to be able to step up and show up as you need, okay? So this is a really key piece in understanding true feminine confidence. Feminine confidence is really learning how to Really be open, be receptive, right? And have this genuine love for the masculine and releasing and clearing away your resistance to letting the masculine pursue you, okay? This is really key. You have to wanna know that you are more than enough at every single level in your being and you wanna be really open for the, for, for the masculine as well. Um, I love the, the principles that really teach me that I do not need to be something that I'm not to be able to love a thing. Like I personally have no interest in 
like balancing masculine feminine energy like all day long i know that i can attract and have everything that i want through my feminine energy right and when and i can just truly admire the, the masculine so i really had to go in and explore what was the resistance that i had around masculine energy you might be surprised by this but many of the, the, the reasons why a woman might only attract uh, a man that is only interested in sex is because that is the only way in which she's letting masculine energy come in. Because her defense mechanism is more masculine, is pushing the masculine away because she might not fear, she might not know that she can have a man that is, wants to be there um, and care for her. So she might be connected for her, with her sexual desire for men or to have a masculine presence in that sense. But in any other area, she's not fully open to having a masculine presence in her life because she might fear that a masculine might not be there for her. Does that make sense? I want you to see how the ego can make it so easy for you to just blame and be like, no, men nowadays, they only want sex. But in reality, it could be that you are not open for emotional connection and true surrendering and opening to the masculine because of what I provided here. Life will mirror your fears back to you if you let them lead your life. When you, a woman owns her magnetism where she is coherent and congruent in all these aspects, she's mastered her trust she radiates this openness to love to herself. She understands the importance of being open. She's not willing to live a life where she's not open, right? Like she's not willing to continue in that suffering space anymore. And she's clear about her worthiness. She's more than enough. She knows that she is the prize, the gift. She's open to the masculine and to have the masculine in every level in her life. So how do you do like... How do you start to release um, all of this and let yourself be even more open? One of the formats that I use with my, with my clients that I find of the deepest importance that makes the biggest shift is not only through understanding the spiritual principles and embodying this energy of commitment and not giving yourself an out, just being really present, right? And intimate with your process, feeling safe in that. It's also really releasing what's here, your defense mechanisms in your heart. Ladies, I cannot tell you the amount of times I've seen with clients where they've built this shield around their heart that they're not letting anything new come in. And that is your center where you let yourself receive, okay? So what I do is that I do this energy clearing or heart release process where there's many layers where you store feelings and emotions that are particular and they're unique to you in your energy field, right? And that doesn't let you attract anything different. Once you start to release that and this associations that you have with that, it's like a similar like reprogramming, you know, um, thing that really helps you open up, feel safe, remember who you really are, trust in yourself and own your work. Therefore, you're letting yourself attract better and greater in your life. And it also helps you activate um, um, more confidence in yourself. So before we do, uh, uh, and it's one of the most powerful things, ladies, because, because we haven't really been taught on how to transmute our feelings and let them go. And we've been taught to keep such a state of control over our fears or like taking the bull by the horns. We might have a tendency where we're not learning how to let go, let ourselves breathe, attract something new. And it's something that can store itself in our bodies and our energies. And like I said, life can be a mirror. You want to be able to release all of that so that you are genuinely creating the space for something even more. And by then first releasing that and then starting to really build this new confidence in yourself, learning how to trust yourself, distinguish between like instinct and fear you, you and embody your worth and opening to the masculine, what happens is that you start like operating with more confidence, no fear, right? No heartbreak anymore, no wasting your time. And you let yourself attract top, top quality love in your life, a man that is the right fit. So ladies, before we move into, um, into this, 
I would like to hear from you. What are you resonating about these three elements of trusting, openness, and magnetism? Let me know. Give me some feedback. Raise your hands or just unmute yourself. I would love to know because I want to be able to support you to my best capacity. And after this, we will go to the clearing. We will do a small clearing today so that you can start to really feel like more trusting opening. Um, and yeah, who would like to share? Perfect. So Amanda was saying she has to work on identifying her limiting beliefs. All right, perfect. Who else would like to share? Based on what I've shared with you, what are the what of the three areas do you feel like you should work the most like you need to work the most on? Is it two of them? Is it one of them? Is it the three of them? Let me know, ladies. If you also want to know how to really, like, if you want to have, like, a really clear path on how to achieve this in your life, remember that I'm going to be sharing magnetic self-worth in a couple, like, minutes after the clearing. And I'm also, after that, going to create this space for Q&A. So don't miss out if you're interested. There's a special bonus um, and, and opportunity available for you if you are here today. Okay? Nicole, can you hear me? Hello there, Melissa. Hi, how are you? I am doing great. I love your name. I, I love you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Um, I just want to thank you so much because um, it is very confusing out there with all the different um, things that you can watch with feminine energy. And it's really thrown me into a tailspin. And I've acted on those things and probably, like you said, acted masculinely with those things to try to create something when that's not what feminine is. And I'm having a really tough time understanding how to be feminine. And I, and when you speak, like you're, you speak the truth and it just resonates with me so much. And I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for sharing that. I just wanted to really make it clear because feminine energy is not just about like taking a step, right? Like, let me get that next guy's like number um, like, let, let me text him this, like, it's about being coherent and congruent in your energy about embodying self-worth and trust, right? Self-worth, trust and openness, and um, really understanding like the spiritual principles and being committed. Because if you also want to be, if you want to attract the committed man, you need to be committed yourself and face like, you know, have no fear. And I promise you, ladies, like facing these beliefs, is, it's not going to kill you right? Like if you make it real, like, like you don't need to make, like, we want to explore the process and be able to release it. I mean, I know what it was like for me to just hear certain things from my coach and be like, but, but I didn't know how to release it. And it wasn't until I discovered these clearings and like my clients have said, you know, like they've done it themselves is when things started to open up because it's like, imagine like their hearts just being congested, right? Of like so much fear and not knowing how to deal with it right like they're i'm gonna give you an example melissa this is i feel like it's gonna be an example that's gonna make the biggest difference i remember how you know i used to have this resentment towards my dad because my dad you know he passed away when i was like 21 and i remember talking with my coach about being like you know i never really felt like my dad cared or loved me or i remember all these experiences where he would just give to others but Whenever I would ask something of him, he would complain. It always made me feel like, you know, I was asking for too much. I was trouble, et cetera. And I remember my coach was telling me, like, like, Nicole, like, your dad gave when he was happy. He didn't have it in him. Like, those moments where he was complaining, it had nothing to do with you. He probably wasn't feeling resourceful enough. He was going through something. And he didn't know how to process that energy. And he just let it out that way. And it, made me, and it made me go back and be like, wait a minute. Yeah, I remember when he was giving, he was like super happy, right? And then it dawned on me, I was like, wow, my dad wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. How could I help him to be happier, right? Instead of just shutting myself down and make, coming up to all these conclusions and taking things personal when it was never personal, you know? 
So this is how the ego lies to all of us and tricks us to believe that we're not good enough, but it was never the case. If I had operating in love and spiritual truth, then, I mean, I was a kid, right? But it's, it's something that we ought to be taught how to. I could have come closer to my dad and created an opening rather than just shutting down and hurting, if that makes sense. Like, it's only the ego that would make me blind to my own father's pain. It's only the ego that would make you blind to the pain of some, somebody that's in front of you and make you think about me, 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 my pain, my pain. When you're able to transcend that, right, and just drop it and understand more of this in a really clear, structured way that gives you a feelings of safety, then you can really open up and you can see the miracles that can happen. Like the example that I gave when I was on that date, right? It's like, as soon as I dropped it and I just became more curious, that's actually one of the principles that, that really works and makes a difference. If that um, supports you, Melissa, and, and everybody else on the call. We can't allow our egos to keep us from love anymore. You're missing out on time, you know, opportunity of like, you know, whatever sort of like family you want to have, et cetera. It's creating confusion. It's creating anxiety. We want to end this thing where we are too scared to face our love life and to have like a system and a structure that we can trust without being confused, like overwhelmed and like receiving from like 10, 15 different sources is confusing and it leads to self-sabotage. I'm not saying, Hey, like just follow me. I'm saying you want to really have a clear path. Because the confusion and the overwhelm and the trying to get all these different sources is a form of distraction. When you can just be really present with your process and know what to do. Does that help, Melissa? Um, I don't know. I don't know if you're speaking, Melissa. Um, but I would love to know from anybody else if that clicks. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, sorry. I just forgot to hit the other button. But I just want to say that you totally just described everything that I've been through exactly. You just nailed it right on the head. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So let's see. Sharon is saying, um, Christina is saying, trust in the universe and believe men accept me. Sharon says, I would say heart healing and magnetism. I can relate to what Melissa is saying about the conflict, the conflicting advice out there. You've explained how, um, you've explained how, I think there's a word missing there. Sharon saying simple feminine energy is through these steps. Exactly. Mafusa Ma Ma is saying, thank you so much for this. Wow. Being open and staying in that space of love is something that I hadn't really sunk in. That's amazing, ladies. Awesome. So what is your number one thing as we are to start this clearing um, that you want to bring to the table. What, uh, what is, what is something that you're really craving to feel in regards to your love life? From this, we will move forward. We're going to start the clearing ladies. Thank you so much for being here with me and don't miss out the offer that I have just for you today. All right. Okay, perfect. Sharon said to feel open-hearted and confident around men. Absolute trust in myself and the universe. Perfect. All right? Just going to give you one minute more uh, to share what you need. Yeah, you yeah for those of you who want to, you know, talk, uh, please speak up now. That would be the great moment for me to write down what you want me to add. Melissa, where are you going to yeah, say just, um, Yeah, I just want to say I... I totally feel, um, think all the things the ladies are writing is right on. And also just finding a way to, to not feel so confused. Okay. What makes you feel confused? Do you know that sometimes confusion um, is a defense mechanism? Ah, <laughs> yeah. I guess like you said, all the information that's out there and you know, you can resonate with certain parts and pieces of it. And, and just like you said, a clear, a clear path so that you're not all over the place. And 
you know, trying these things and coming from masculine when you should be coming from feminine and, you know, even all that, you know, even understanding what all that means. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's an interesting thing because many of you ask questions today about like, how can you, um, you know, reflect your feminine energy, like in a long distance situation. Um, so you don't, you, you want to work on the th three things that I said today right? Like having that trust in yourself is a really peaceful energy, ladies. Um, and it's also magnetic because you own your worth. So you're not worried about whether a man can feel your energy or not over there. Does that make sense? You understand that that is already happening by nature of your very being. But in order to do that, we have to ensure that your all of your energy is congruent and coherent. If you're holding on to pain and different beliefs, it, like it, it just creates this confusing energy that could confuse men, but we want to bring coherence so that you are vibrating, you're emanating this energy. I'm a total catch. I'm totally worthy, you know, from you, the, you know, the top of your head to the tip of, of your toe, right? In energy, in heart, in being, in body. And that is what magnetic self-worth is. We spend, you know, like, like, you know, it's, it's three months and we, we spend time on helping you really like get that congruence in your body, in your mind and in your heart so that you are really vibrating it. And then the confidence that you exude is, is different in men. And we will explore all the angles of that. And one of the things also Melissa that can give you clarity is really like understanding, like what are your beliefs? What are your fears and working like privately or doing this program with somebody that can really help you in regards to this. Because one of the things that I noticed from my clients um, or potential clients is that confuse and overwhelm is something that keeps you distracted from just moving forward. Does that make sense? So removing all distractions could be a really key thing for you and choosing a path that you can trust so that you can work on it consistently until you get it. Does that make sense? Or until you totally. get that power, right? It's, it's, it's a defense mechanism. So awesome, ladies, we're going to start now. Thank you so much for asking, uh, asking that question, um, Melissa. Um, before we start, I don't want to forget Mia because I adore Mia. I love Mia to death, but she's amazing. So it's interesting because she said the work that we've done together has been transforming on so many levels. She woke me up to certain patterns about habits surrounding love that I was unaware of. Okay, this is the importance of having somebody that can really help you um, really see Ladies, some of these things are tricky in nature because there are subconscious beliefs, um, defense mechanisms that you use to protect yourself. So they're not easily available for you in your consciousness. And that's why I say it's like your subconscious can lead you to detract yourself, to overwhelm, to have you be like a self-development junkie that downloads everything, but then you're like, you don't even know where to start because that's your subconscious is still operating under a belief that you want it to protect you from love so to speak, even though you want it and it's important for you to have it. It's important to release it. If that makes sense. She says, after working together, her life opened up in such a beautiful and easy way. She learned how to trust in her guidance and divine support, something that she used to struggle with. And she says, wow, what a difference it makes when she learned how to trust in her guidance and divine support. She, um, she learned, you know, she like life transformed and opened up to her in a beautiful and easy way. No struggle, no drama, no suffering. That's what she needed to work on and things really open up for her. So you see, there is spiritual, emotional, um, you know, principles about feminine energy that really need to be integrated in regards to your dating life so that things start to make sense and you're no longer confused, okay? All right, ladies, so what I'm gonna do Let's just inhale, close our eyes. We're gonna start this amazing process right now. We're gonna inhale, and we're gonna exhale. Inhale, and we're gonna exhale. Inhale, and exhale. I want you to imagine that you're connected with beautiful white light that's coming from all the directions, 
from above and below, from the sky, from Mother Earth, from all directions. This light is connecting you, helping you vibrate at a higher level. It's infusing you with trust, with clarity, with knowing, with true surrendering and openness to really connect with your higher wisdom and attract the best in love and just trust the universe. In this space, I want you to just visualize and feel and connect with the energy or the essence of your higher self, your soul, your connection with source. Feel yourself connected in this moment. And let yourself merge with that energy so that you can feel the energy of oneness, of truth and power. Feel how this light fully penetrates all over your being, filling you up from the top of your head with opening, with trust. Just feel how it just fills you up. Feel how this energy connects with your heart, filling your heart up, helping your heart open up. Feel how this energy goes through the rest of your body, through your abdomen, your lower back, your hips, filling you up in truth, in the energy of moving forward, taking the right steps, having the willingness and the courage to move forward, to be committed, to say yes to yourself. See this light reach to your feet, to your toes, filling you up with grounding, clarity, choice, magnetism, and inner confidence and clarity to move forward, the willingness to move forward. Feel this energy go to the center of the earth. Feel it come back up. And now that you're connected above and below, feel how this energy starts to expand and take over your whole space. And this energy takes over the whole universe. You're one, you're connected, you're powerful. You're clear. Set an intention in this energy while you keep your energy this open and expanded to really just make a decision in this moment to commit to attracting the very best in your life. Your decision and willingness to commit and hold yourself accountable, it's one of the greatest gifts you can give to yourself. If you're already committed, commit even deeper. Set an intention that you will attract the very best in love, and that you have the genuine willingness to really release anything that's getting in the way and have the true willingness to embody love at a deeper level to be a master of love, the frequency of love, so that you can love not only yourself more, but you can learn how to love others more, the man that's coming into your life. And you can really love and cherish the masculine. In that commitment, I invite you to really feel or visualize the energy of your man, the man that is the right fit for you, 
that is compatible with you in every way, that is open and willing to really cherish you and give you all the love you want and you deserve now. Visualize it, see it, feel it, feel your connection. And even feel your own magnetism when you're with him. How you truly want to see yourself and operate from. You can connect with him and just feel his heart beating right next to yours. Now in this space of clarity and keeping this energy wide open, we're gonna start clearing and releasing. Any and all defense mechanisms of confusion that you have around love, everywhere where you don't remember who you re really are or you operate in fear, we completely release it at all levels in your energy now and forever. All energy of sabotage within you that prevents you from choosing yourself or that keeps you in confusion. We completely release it at all levels now and forever. Everywhere where you're not letting love really kick in, like come in to your life, everywhere where you have the theater of being loved. We completely release it at all levels now and forever. Everywhere you wait for love to happen to you, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. All the energy within your energy field where you doubt that you can have love, the type of love that really is exciting and turns you on, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. All fear in your heart of letting yourself have love, defense mechanisms that, uh, that you know of, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. Everywhere you feel like you can't be confident around men, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. If you feel like yawning, that's totally okay feel yourself falling asleep that's also okay it's a form of the energy leaving so you don't have to fight it all resistance that you have to have love in your life we completely release it at all levels now and forever all lack of confidence that you can have love and that you have the power to attract love we completely release it at all levels now and forever everywhere you feel shame about your love life or your self-love or, or like giving yourself help in your love life. We completely release it at all levels now forever. Everywhere you stop yourself from having the best in love or because of a belief, because of a fear, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. Everywhere you have a resistance to being open, fears about being open, or you don't know how to fully trust yourself, we completely release it at all levels now forever. All programs of I can't have love, my man is not going to accept me, we completely release it at all levels now forever. All programs of I am not enough, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. All your resistance to moving forward and committing to your own process and exploring your feelings, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. All doubt that you will have love, that you can trust God, the universe, 
we completely release it at all levels now and forever. Anything that would have you doubt that you can have absolute trust in yourself in the universe, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. Everywhere where you don't, like you shut down from love and all the shields and the layers that you are consciously aware of or might not know of that are getting in the way of you attracting love, we will completely release it at all levels now forever. Everywhere, all lack of confidence within yourself to have love um, or not let your like just let yourself have love we completely release it at all levels now and forever any resistance that you have around opening yourself up and really being seen we completely release it at all levels now and forever all tendencies of believing that you're alone that you can only do things alone that you should only do things alone everywhere where you keep a shield around you we completely release it at all levels now and forever All resistance to being seen, to being intimate with your process, with yourself, and with your choice of having the best love, we completely release it at all levels now and forever. Now, in this space, I want you to really just Imagine yourself putting your hands in your heart or just putting your hands in your heart. And imagine pink light coming in from the sky, filling up your heart space with the energy of true self-love. And the energy of trust, the willingness to have trust. Feel how this energy keeps filling you up where all you feel and see around you is this pink light vibrating higher and higher, opening yourself up to something better and strengthening and deepening your commitment to love yourself through it all and to be committed in giving yourself the best in love and having the courage to do whatever it takes from a place of love and not from fear. Feel the safety of choosing yourself, of choosing love. And let that energy of safety really like impregnate like all of your being, your field of energy. And let that energy of safety in choosing love and in moving forward run through your body with clarity and confidence and feel yourself growing roots in this energy. The most powerful roots so that you can really hear your guidance and follow the best path for you and truly embodying your feminine energy and acceptance of your worth, trusting the universe, and being ready and aligned for the man that you saw today. You are that powerful. You are that magnetic. Feel this, accept this. Surrender some more any resistance, surrender into this truth. And when you're ready, we can give thanks to the universe, to ourselves, to our higher self or soul, 
we can give thanks to ourselves for being here right now, for opening up more, and for strengthening our commitment, making this choice. And when you're ready, feel free to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and open up your eyes. Thank you, Nicole. You're welcome. You're welcome. How are you feeling, ladies? I want I wanted to hear from you. How are you feeling from this quick exercise? Grounded. Great. How about everybody else? Can you give me a comment? Let me know how you're feeling. Did you notice something when you connected with the energy of your man? Awesome, I love it. Christina is saying that she's feeling calm. Um, Sharon is saying that she feels like she released a lot, couldn't stop yawning. I couldn't stop yawning either. Um, it was just like a really powerful energy that was being released. Ladies, imagine going through something like this, but at a deeper level, you know, going for this for like an hour or more and having the opportunity to have these clears be even more tailored for you to help you really open up and release and, and, and let more in into your life, right? Um, Sonny's saying that she feels relaxed and soft. That is your natural state of being, Sonny, right? Like in that space of knowing. So um, I'm so happy that you've, you know, you've joined me on this journey and I would love to be honored to really share with you magnetic self-worth which is my signature coaching program where I really guide women in really having magnetic self-worth. So it's not a self-worth that is repelling or that it's anxious or, you know, that feels like it needs to control. What it is, is this connection with your powerful feminine energy from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. It's really letting yourself be connected with the universe understand the, the, the spiritual principles, have the willingness to apply them, be in that space where you're truly committed and open up your heart and attract the masculine. When a woman is really in that space, you are unstoppable, you're confident, you stop suffering in love, you stop doubting if you can have love. And I just want you to really imagine for a second the peace that comes when you fully do this. Going back to the testimony of my client, Claudia, she said that she met an amazing man. She met her man three months in working with me. And magnetic self-worth, it is a three-month process where it's like a deep dive, a love immersion program where I'm going to give you the clear path for you to attract this. Inside of those three months, we will work specifically on and it's a really intimate program on releasing um, anything that makes you your doubt with the universe. Specific practices that are helping you gonna connect even more. It's gonna help you have more results. It's gonna help you sharpen your intuition so that you know when you can trust somebody or not, so that you save yourself time, energy, everything. Not only are you gonna get the teachings of it, but you're also going to get the specific energy release process that um, really helps you open up your heart and let go of all of the stories that could be getting in the way of you trusting and doubting your worth. Magnetic self-worth comes with nine live master classes with me. These are 90 minute long classes with me, meaning we will meet um, the three times per month with these live master classes where I'm going to be really teaching you and connecting with you live on the call to really help you really identify, release, let go, and have consistent support in moving forward. You will have four energy clearing sessions, 90 minute long clearing sessions, where we will cover the main areas where I see women block themselves, shut down their heart, doubt the universe, 
embody deeper self-worth. And one of the most important things actually really open up to having a really strong masculine presence in their lives, right? It's all about, you know, dating and letting yourself keep that love. To further support you, you're going to get four private sessions with me. And this is where you get a lot of private um, clarity of what could be going on for you. Um, many of you saw during today where I was just, I kept asking you questions because every woman is a world, right? So having um, the, the time and energy with me, like I can easily pinpoint as my clients have shared, what could be stopping you, blocking you so that you don't spend like, months or years trying to figure this out by yourself. You're also going to get a private Facebook group and I'm going Q and A inside of the group. You can ask me questions inside of this group and you will also receive additional videos and material to really helping you strengthen this. We're going to have amazing practices where I can really genuinely promise you ladies that you will start to attract a deeper committed level of a man in your life. And it can even bring in your man, right there on the spot, right? Because you're in that committed energy. Um, sometimes my client attracts, you know, their, their man like within three months, sometimes it's six months or a little bit more. The thing though is that I want to help you have the power and the confidence to attract it um, so that you're steady, you're stable in your energy, you're confident and you're not shrinking, feeling like you need to like um, you know, confuse yourself or protect yourself because that only adds to stress, to distraction. And, you know, another year goes by and another year goes by. And it's like a lot can shift for you when you're really like present and you have a clear step on how to really shift things forward. It's my signature program. Um, Claudia manifested her man within three months. I've had clients who've manifested their man out of being single for years or not attracting the right one, like in three weeks and a month. Um, others have manifested a little bit after the program have ended, but it's all good. You know, um, you will have the right material. One of my clients, um, Lena, she actually had resistance. She was like all in and she went in, but she just couldn't trust that um, she could attract the type of man in the country that she wanted because she just had this belief that men in her country were like pigs, right? So she had a lot of resistance to that, but she was open to the coaching. And one day she was like, you know what? I have the material, like Nicole provided this clear path for me. I'm just going to go with it. Right. So the program ends and then she reaches out to me and she's like, Oh my God, Nicole, like I made this amazing man like here, like he's so committed. I'm so happy. He's everything that I've ever dreamed of. Right. She just really like kept on doing the clearings. Right. And the beautiful thing about these clearings is going to help you release resistance, fears, etc. You're going to have the recording so you can do them over and over again, because sometimes it's like peeling a layer of an onion, but it's not an onion that you have to figure out by yourself. By doing this program, I will have laid it out for you and I will address the specific things that are stopping you, preventing you or keeping things without moving forward so that you just do it. And I promise you, that you will start to open up and let yourself receive something higher and different. All right. So this is my top signature program. Um, I recommend it with all of my heart. It's about being in an alignment and congruence and coherence about your energy and about your worth and your feminine energy so that you attract confident, more committed men. When a woman is in this committed space and you operate with that clarity and that congruence, you will meet the sort of man that it's the right fit because you've already made a decision to not give yourself an out, right? I, I like always remembering, there's a passage, um, sometimes in the Bible, but I remember a lot about Lot and his wife, right? And how they were told to not look back. And that, that really shifted me, that story, when I, when I really understood that when Lot's wife turned back and she turned into salt, salt is a preservant, right? Like, preserving the past, the old stories, um, kind of like looking fondly into the past of the things that weren't working or like, you know, just paying your attention there when the instruction was to really like not give yourself an out and just commit to a new reality. Right. So many of my clients actually attract this, not only because of the work that we do is because they actually decided to turn a leaf and they committed to something, right. They didn't remove their presence from it and they did the work. So, I recommend Magnetic Self Worth. Like I said, it comes with nine live master classes, four energy clearing sessions on embodying deeper self worth that are uniquely tailored for you, 
four private sessions with me, a private Facebook group and an ongoing Q and A inside of the group, recording of the calls, additional video and materials that are really going to help you. Now, the overall investment of this program is 3,500 US dollars, right? If you pay in full today or tomorrow, you will get a discount of $500. It's $3,000 just for you for being on this training today. And also because, um, and, and you have the option to, to, to also get that tomorrow. If you choose a payment plan, all that is required is an $800 US like deposit now and the first payment of 1350 on April 22nd and another one of 1350 on May 15. Like the full investment is um is non-refundable. Um and uh if you have if you choose this program ladies today um or tomorrow you will get and here's the surprise that I have for you. I know how important it is for like ladies here in the group to really like release any sort of fear or anxiety that you have around trusting yourself and the universe and opening up your heart. If you choose to do this now, between today and tomorrow, I will give you three additional clearing calls with me to go deeper into this so that we like you let yourself just be all in and not let any sort of fear get in the way. Sessions like this with me are valued over $2,000. So that is an extra gift that I'm giving you by making this choice today. And it's only available for those who choose to do it between today and tomorrow. Um, I will be also sharing, uh, I'm going to post the link right here right now for those who want to, to do the program. And, and if you also have any questions inside of that link is Nicole Elisa, Elisa with a double S dot com slash shop. For those of you who are on the phone, it's www.nicole, that's N I C O L E E L I double S dot com slash shop. There you will find the option for the paying full that's only available until tomorrow or um, the option for the payment plan. Ladies, also, if you have any sort of questions, I'm going to be, um, and you would like to have a private call with me where you know, between today and tomorrow, where you have like any sort of questions about it, you want to know if it's the perfect fit, if there's any sort of additional question that I can answer for you, I will make that link also available for you right now. I want to make this like a, like a no brainer kind of thing, because I understand how much and how powerful it is when you are in a space where you can really just trust and relax and open up and feel cared for, right? Um, and know that you can handle this, that you can, you can really move through it. So these additional clearing sessions, it's just, it's going to go even deeper and we, we will use it just for you. My programs are always, um, they're, they're a really intimate experience. I do not desire to have more than 15 women in the group. I do not, because I do believe that um, to do a program like this when it comes to love, <clears throat> especially if it has this in, in element of me being in it, um, fully and present, I want to be able to really fully support you to my best capacity and be present with you. So the doors to this program will be closing really soon. The program starts on April, April 23rd. Um, and you will get the recordings, uh, of every single one of them. Now it starts on April 23rd, but I will be closing the doors to the program much sooner. As soon as we reach the goal of 10, 11 women inside of the program. How does that sound ladies? I'm excited to support you in this journey. Please let me know in the comments section, if you have any sort of program, uh, um, questions about the program, um, and I would love to answer them to you. I also want to, I also want to, to add to this, the link for you to be able to set up the session with me as well. So I just need to find out here how to remove, yes, remove the screen and share it with you. Ladies, what sort of questions do you have in regards to the program and 
love about dating? How is this resonating? Is there a part of you that's still feeling confused? Like, I would love to know um, so I can really clear things up for you. And this is the opportunity as well to ask any questions that you might have about your love life. And moving forward. Let's see. This is the link. It's a 15 minute assessment with me, ladies, that you can use here. Here's the other link. It's basically Nicole, N I C O L E E L I W S A dot A S dot me slash open and aligned for love. It's a 15 minute assessment that you can set up for us to connect tomorrow. Um, if you're interested in being part of the program, uh, and I would be delighted to support you. Ladies, do you have any questions in regards to dating and attraction and how you can implement what I've been teaching you today or programs, questions about the program? I would love to know. All right, ladies, Sony, Stephanie, Melissa, Mafusa, Carmen, Aisha, do you have any questions, Amandeep, in regards to your love life or how you can implement this in your life or about the program? Let me know if you do. I will be staying on the line for the next five minutes. If you have any questions, ladies. Right. So for example, Melissa, I'm hearing you say that you are in a relationship, for example, correct? You said, thanks, Nicole. I want to be able to trust my man and I will reach out to you. This program also works for that. Um, so definitely set up the session, um, Melissa, and I can explore, like I can, I can support you and give you clarity in regards to whether this program or a private program would um, work best for you. Uh, but definitely doing this and shifting into this energy can really soften and um, open up things for you in a really big way. How? By opening up your heart, by releasing all the beliefs that you might have about men. This is about magnetic self-worth. It will help you attract the best in men, whether you are single or you are in a relationship. So thank you so much. Um, to, to clarify that it's, it's basically like, um, one of the principles that we cover is what I shared during this call today and many others as well, that I work with my clients to really open things up. One of my clients, you know, I do work with women who are in relationships as well. And she had this thing about not trusting her partner. Like he wasn't committing, he wasn't proposing and she, her energy started to shut down. Right. Um, and I really like, I communicated to her that from that energy, uh, she really needed to like learn how to let go and open up and soften and, and release. And the work that we did actually was on her, right? Cause the, the judgments were in, like, will filtrating themselves inside of the relationship and the man could feel it. Right. Remember how I said the masculine energy is about freedom and feeling free and inspired to choose you. Right. So we have to be really mindful as women and not to really judge or condemn or shut down and really explore what is the specific thing that's currently going on. 
you know, as soon as we click, you know, we worked on that actually three months in her man proposed, right? Um, the energy shifted, right? She, she became more open. She connected more with her source. She started allowing the shift, the energy shifted. So definitely, Melissa, I would love to know more about your situation. Love to support you. So the call would totally help. And I would honestly just tell you inside of the call whether it would help you um, or like, you know, or if I would recommend more of a private situation. Because I know I, I've actually read throughout the call today that some of you are in relationship, like in long distance relationships, etc. So if you're curious about it, definitely set up, um, definitely set up the call because it would be really good. You are welcome. So iPhone, <laughs> hello, thank you, Nicole, for your work and your wisdom. You are welcome. So ladies, I know that I also offered like really like big higher concepts and you're like wondering like, oh, how do I eat this? Um, that's where I go in inside of the program and I really show, and I know how to teach you how to bring these concepts, you know, to earth more and more in a more practice, uh, in a more like practical way. The thing about this is that I really need to teach things at this level first so that you have a better understanding um, because lo love is about trust and all of these big concepts. And if I don't address them, then you would still like operate or be unaware of your fears and your defense mechanisms and how they're clicking it. Like, does that make sense? It's up to me really then to show you, but it needs to be an intimate experience where you and I, and I can like leave you and show you um, where you are already like trusting and committed rather than creating like more confusion for you, if that makes sense. This is something ladies that I promise you, like if you do it, you will feel your sense of well-being increase. You will not suffer in love anymore. And if only, if all that it gave you, like right there on the spot, was more clarity, no more suffering, a profound feeling of peace, and like starting to see different sort of men or um, responses from men, like wouldn't that be worth for you? Like this is something that most people struggle with all their lives. And that level of freedom is unique and irreplaceable. And I promise you that I can really help you achieve that within three months of committed work, of constant presence and willingness. Do you have any sort of questions in regards to the format, um, to any of the three areas? Why would you, where would you like to um, go deeper with this? I wonder if there's anyone else that has a question. Ladies, so let's see, being able to truly identify is toxic or not. So is that a question, Melissa? What's, what's coming up for you in regards to that? Why, why are you mentioning that? Because, can I talk? Is that okay? Okay, because I see so much potential in the gentleman that I'm dating, and I know that I have so many blocks, and I'm, and, and, and I know, like, so many of the people that I listen to, they say, don't blame yourself, don't blame yourself, lady, it's not your fault, but then I feel like, no, I have to do this work on myself, and it is, I am responsible for a lot of this, and some of the some of the relationship people say, well, if you're feeling insecure when you don't when you're away from him and you don't, you know, you're not maybe getting um, recognizing the level of of uh, communication that you really do have, and you're thinking it's less than it really is, and then you start feeling insecure, you start feeling you're making up stories about what they must feel and what they must think. Then they say, well, that's a toxic relationship. That's a toxic man, and you need to get away from that. And I don't want to take that as like the answer. I feel like there's another answer, like that I might be 
I'm not where I need to be yet yeah. in, in my development. Yeah. That's a powerful observation that you're bringing this up. It's, that's, it's one of the reasons why it's like, I, you know, I have this thing. Uh, we want to be really mindful about who we get, like, or we listen to, or we uh, receive our lessons in love. There's a lot of misconceptions. We are being taught fear. And one of the things that we're being taught is to just drop relationships and to just call something toxic or like, you know, one of the things that A Course in Miracles brings up is a, a, attack thoughts. Um, the things that were surfacing in my mind, one of the biggest enemies to love right now is judgment, right? And our fears, you know, clashing against each other when really it's important to understand the spir spiritual principle of love that says, you know, um, you, how things can be your mirrors. The fact that somebody is bringing up a lot of your triggers, insecurities, etc., that's like in many ways, depending on the situation, I do want to clarify, I'm not endorsing abuse in any sort of shape or form. And no, it's not abuse. It's, exactly. It's like, it's, it's, it is an invitation for us to learn how to love more. Like I said, I had that experience with that man one, that one time where I was just getting so triggered. I was like, oh my God, he's being cheap. Like he's not going to invest like, like that, 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 that. But as soon as I dropped that and I was willing to transcend that experience through forgiveness, et cetera, healing, the clearing, everything, then I was able to really see things, stop attacking the man in front of me with my energy, it wasn't happening with my words. And because men want to feel free in choosing us and, and they respond to an energy that feels good to them, once my attack thoughts ceased, he started to show up in a different way. Does that make sense? So we want to be yes. careful about the type of person um, or whoever it is that we're listening to because it's just not wise advice to just base off your love life on free advice that you get on the internet, right? You have to understand mm -hmm. that sometimes these experts, um, they, they're doing the best that they can to explain like larger than life concepts on a small video right and it is right. about you going inward and having the proper guidance and that's why these containers exist because you and i can have an actual relationship i can see what's currently going on for you etc i mean imagine melissa and let me just ask you this and for everybody you know um how much time is it costing you to worry about your relationship with this person or to even let it like almost sabotage your end because you haven't really made a choice in just facing the process. Okay. Does that make sense? How much yeah. energy are you wasting? Um, how is that anxiety affecting you? Right? How much is the, uh, the doubt affecting you in regards to time? I mean, I'm not saying that it, it depends on the person, but a lot of women come to me because like they want to have a family, right? Is that constant indecision? How is it affecting you? It's true. Maybe our parents weren't taught how to do these things, but we're here right now and it's up to us to really change the future of the next generations, right? To show up in a more empowered way in love um, instead of just fearing what we saw going up with our parents, but to actually be like, hey, I am capable of transmuting this and showing up in a really profound, empowered way, right? Um, it, it is up to you. Like nobody else can, can like you have to make a decision and that's why I say it's so important that it's a decision where you are fully invested, whether it's time, money, energy, like you are all of the above. It's like you want to be able to face things, right? One of the things that could stop you, Melissa, or anybody else, and it could prevent others from really just choosing um, to move forward is the fear of loss, you know, fear of like making a mistake. Like what if um, you know, I sabotage it, you know, or, um, I don't want to lose of this person because it's the best that I've had, right. It's the best type of relationship that I've had, even though it has its flaws, like fear about that. I'll be honest with you. There's a higher chance like of you not sabotaging it and like ensuring that it's the best, you know, by doing something like this, right. And facing it and learning how to transmute these things than to just stay in, in decision right? That's why I mentioned confusion today about it being a, a defense mechanism. And, um, and I mentioned it also in the clearing today, it's, it just stops you. 
like just saying I don't know is a defense mechanism because you're trying to stop yourself from your own power and move forward, right? You gotta make decisions, right? And um, ensure our success. You know, it's an act of love. It is an act of love and it's an act of seeing your worth and seeing your value and just saying yes to you. If you think about the time that it's gonna like reduce from you of the anxiety and the worry, the potential sabotage, the potential of dating somebody that's not the right fit because like the fear kicked things so strong that you weren't really able to see it clearly, right? Um, it saves you so much and you gain also so much. You gain yourself, you gain your confidence. You're not interested in petty drama, like anxiety, none of that stuff. And you let yourself attract something of a higher quality level, basically. Does that help? Yes. Awesome. So what do you get from that? Um, I feel like I've started this momentum, even though I might not be getting all the parts and, you know, I'm getting parts and pieces of things, but I've definitely started the momentum and you're like kind of solidifying it for me that, you know, it's valuable to do. And, and, um, also like flowing into other areas of my life because we had talked about something and then I got very, I, I had some things happen that pulled me away and that's why I came back because I really do want to figure out a way to do this because I see how valuable it is and you really resonate with me so much. So um, I would definitely want to talk to you and see how we can do something. Of course. Yeah. I would be delighted to support you love. Um, it is about, thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Like, it, it is so worth it to to see this. I remember I, I had a call one time with a coach where she was like, you know, I was in a state of indecision, thinking that I was committing and not committing. And she just told me, Nicole, you want to see how fear is ruling over your life. It keeps you in indecision. And if you've been trying to manifest something in your life for, you know, months or years and it hasn't happened yet, it's because fear is ruling you and you're, you're leading things through your mind. That's why I said, ladies, you have to lead with your heart. She said, like, I want you to say the truth to yourself right now, like about like owning the fact that you might not be fully like loving yourself and, and just making a choice in the moment. And I'm not bringing this up to say that this is what's going on with the group. I'm just sharing with you my experience. Like I had to really open up to hear what she was saying. And because I'm a good student, I was like, wow, that, that's, 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 that's a tough thing to hear. Um, and so I said it out loud. And when I said it out loud, I didn't even say the actual statement. I changed the statement. She told me, Nicole, you changed the statement. That was your fear kicking in and telling you to add a qualifier. You said, I think I don't love myself like I think I do. That's not what the phrase was. You had to really come to surface with something to the realization in my case that I was not loving myself fully, that I was not choosing myself fully that I was keeping myself in a limbo over a guy that was not committing. Um, and, um, and it was because I wasn't fully loving myself, right? I wasn't choosing myself fully. So when she brought that up to me and I saw that I added a word and I saw the defense mechanism in action, I was like, wow. And I, and I actually just, cause I'm committed, right? I said, okay, I don't love myself like I think I do. And I said it out loud and I immediately started to tear up, but guess what? I made a solid choice right there in the moment to not second guess my worth, et cetera. And everything started to open up with increased momentum because I connected with my heart. I opened up my heart to receive more. Um, and it was a process. It was the final piece that I needed in regards to that. And it was a tough thing. You know, I had to come to face with the fact that I wasn't loving myself fully because maybe of my, a bringing, um, a feeling not worthy of that. Um, it just really depends on you and what your specific thing is. But I promise you that I will help you get to the other side. And it's something that you can really keep with you for the rest of your life. It's not going to like just come and come and go. It's, it is a lifelong change. And that's why um, it is reflected in the value of the program as well, the prize, everything. It's about really taking this on for yourself. So ladies, once again, um, if you have any sort of questions and if you wanna do the program, I'm gonna share the links again 
the first one, NicoleLisa.com slash shop. Um, Elisa with a double S is where you're going to get the links to do both of the programs. The investment for the program is $3,500. If you choose to invest today, it, you get $500 off and it's just $3,000. If you choose to do that tomorrow as well, the option is still available. It's an action. It's, it's a choice that I'm creating for the people that are fast action takers. You will also get three additional clearing calls with me, emotional release things that will remove indecision, that will remove fear, that will help you really deepen more your confidence in yourself, in your trust in the universe and in love. And it's only going to be available for those selected few who choose it. So you're going to get more time with me. We're going to go deeper into this. You're going to have the recordings as well. And then, um, and, and also if you want to have any sort of touch, like, uh, I just, sorry, I just saw the word that, that Melissa said, if you know, any sort of like, you know, have a conversation with me in a 15 minute assessment to have any deeper questions about your situation. I want to have my honest feedback. If the program is for you, I would love to support you. Um, there's also the option for you to take the payment plans, $800 deposit, and two additional payments of 1350 um, And I'm excited, ladies. I'm excited to support you. Please let me know before we end what has been your biggest takeaway from this training. I would love to know. Um, I just want to know what really created value for you today. Afusa is saying, well, Melissa is saying I'll be back in touch with you. Perfect. You're welcome. Thank you. Mafusa is saying, thank you for all of this and your work. This has been really valuable and knowing about your work. You are welcome. All right, ladies. It's been an absolute pleasure. I send you the most love. And I'm excited to read your comments and to see who decides to join today. I'm excited to offer you the additional support. And I'm sending you a lot of love. All right, ladies. Sending you lots of blessings. Take care.